and we're back. Um, what's up, everybody? My name's Azzy, and welcome back to Freddy Fish and the Case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch, I think is what it's called. In the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff, but we also got this S, which is where I left off because we were kind of running late anyways. So, we're going to keep going. Here we go. I don't know what, what spice I need, so I'm just not going to get one until later. It takes so long to get places. I don't think I need that right now. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> I don't think I've ever done S before, so. Okay. I'm gonna have an S Stand belt buckle. Back. For savvy. For silver. For silver arrow. There we go. <laughs> My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson! <gasps> the piggy! Alright! The piggies! What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. You don't like cake? But it's chocolate. <laughs> it's chocolate. Yeah. So I wonder why they need the hogs if the hogs aren't even cooperating with them. Okay, there's got to be something here still. Boy, the water sure is warm today, isn't it? It's gonna be hot water for those wrestlers when we catch up to them. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you kids? One prickly pear soda, please. Oh. You bet. I thought I was going to get a different flavor. Oh! Ouch! I think I got a prickle stuck in my tongue. I like the prickly pear flavor. Mr. Fingers, could I learn to play the piano like that? Why, sure you could. You know, you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Really? What are their names? Four and 11. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. Four and 11. Hmm. Be right back. I'm gonna speed up to where I need to be. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super rubber bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away, or if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you, and I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. 
Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Okay, here we go. Give you some gum. Busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. Ooh, starfish. I like this silver starfish. Let's take it with us. Okay. Can I have them all? Wow. Starfish instead of the other one. Okay. I want the silver one. I changed my mind. <laughs> oh, maybe I want the blue. I one. like this silver starfish. Let's take it instead of the other one. Okay. We'll go with the silver one. It'll match the rest of the hat. Hmm. So what do I do with the guy in the hat that I need? Oh, I also need a bow tie. I need to get his harmonica back. From somebody. You remember that great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh yeah, that was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. <sighs> okay, so here's this dude. That's that dude. Hmm. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my silver star. You can't be a sheriff without a silver star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This county would owe you a great service if you did. I was thinking of having it sit like on top of the cut or something, but. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. <laughs> but we know where the rustlers are. You there! That's a loading zone! Looks like it's still up to <laughs> us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Yep. Let's ride! Yeah! Still up to us. Oh boy, a 10-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay. We have the hat. We have this thing. I have to get the harmonica back, which has something to do. All right, you hogfish, pay attention. The piggies. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these 
sheep had to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please? <laughs> Please just go to sleep. Please? You say you can't help holding your breath whenever anyone comes near? That's right! Can't help holding your breath whenever anybody comes... <sighs> we need the pepper. If it's not, we'll be back here later. Pepper. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. I don't remember who Mr. Big is. That's why, that's part of the reason why I chose this game. Is I don't remember the ending at all. Okay, I have the hat. This is not the way. I need that right now. Oh. It's a spice container full of pepper. I thought this was the one that we wanted. Here, try some pepper. Okay. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. <laughs> that was you, <laughs> Luther. Oh, yeah. Oh, there were more letters. Was it a... I think these wrestler outfits look nice. We've got a hat like that. And a belt buckle, except our hat is a different color, and our buckle has a different letter on it. We still need the bow tie. We don't need the L, do we? I don't want to do an L. I like this. The harmonica. Hey! A harmonica! <laughs> is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. I hope it doesn't matter that it didn't S instead of an L. I don't remember needing a different letter. I thought I used M last time, to be honest, but... <laughs> no. Did you try singing this little piggy? Like I said, well, try it. Listen, I gotta go, customers. What? No. 
Let's turn and click on the blue dude. Might be that the hogfish done up and rustled themselves too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. Harmonica? What a oh boy! <laughs> oh, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. We have everything. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. I hope the other letter doesn't matter. I can't see his belt buckle, so I can't tell if he has an L as well. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. Oh, he has, he has an owl. Damn it. Ugh. I was so excited about the S. Instead of the old letter? Sure. Let's have the buckle. I was so excited <gasps> about the S. My best work. All that's missing is about. <sighs> Here you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. That's part of my disguise. I want you to put I it on. I don't need to... What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! This should make my disguise even better. It does! There. Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Oh, wait. Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. And howdy.
I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Mm -hmm. Um... Poor Maury, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. It's the worst disguise ever. Don't lose we that. Did it. Shh. We did it. We did it. We're <laughs> inside. Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from. Hey, you two aren't rustlers. What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere. Mr. Big will know what to do with you. Nobody <laughs> knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? Nobody knows my sorrow. <laughs> It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Uh. Phew! These are heavy! And number two? Uh. Oh. There! That does it. Wow. And freedom. Yeah! Worst prison ever. Piggies! Hey, look! Here they are! These are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. <laughs> Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. Well, I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I wonder what's clickable here. Maybe this anchor. This is a nice, dirty chain. I wonder how we're going to get those... That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. I wonder what this does. This is fun. There's no slack in the chain now that the anchor is down. I clicked on it before. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. <sighs> the chain won't quite reach the bars. Maybe we can make it longer. Oh, hey. There's a hook back there. I think I see something behind this thing. <laughs> You're right. I can't see it very it's well. The rudder's in the way. I the think rudder. we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. It's connected to the wheel. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Because it was the rudder. Look <laughs> at this neat hook. Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. 
Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Okay. Now... It's weird the hogfish can talk. It's a little weird. I mean, the fish can talk, which is also weird, but... There! What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. You ready? Boop! No, 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 no. This okay. should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Three, two, ready, ready. one, Fire go! Away. Maury. I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What <laughs> law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Oh, crap, Youngsters, I to... that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I suspect Mr. Fingers. Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know wrestling, just piano playing. After we found the note to the wrestler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B flat, but really, it's an A flat. Big difference. Well, we also heard you talking about singing This Little Piggy. What was that about? My wife was trying to get our kids to go to sleep. Okay, we I have 17, you know. That. Land sake. So you're not Mr. Big? Nope. Afraid not. That phone call did sound suspicious, but Phil isn't the one we're looking for. Who is it then? I don't know. Is it you? I don't think it's you. I don't want it to be you. He is the only big one, though. I'll bet it's Nelson Torso. Oh, uh, but, uh, but, um... Business hasn't been very good at Just Buckles lately, has it? Well, no, but... And I noticed that you were building a barbell at your shop. Big enough for hogfish, maybe? No. You see, everyone thinks I keep in such great shape at my shop. I'm starting to get a little flabby. So, the barbell... It's for me, <laughs> yes! <laughs> but I'm not a wrestler! No, he isn't. It's not Nelson? That was a good guess, but no, it's not him. Then which one of us is it? I didn't do enough clues. I don't know. Mr. Big must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. 
Mickey up. That was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here under... <gasps> I'm actually Sahara Slim under Sea Marshal. <laughs> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the undersea coffee break statutes. <coughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? I don't know who Mr. Big is. Maybe it's you. Mr. Barker, you've been in some Freddy's financial the one talking. trouble lately, be funny haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark about it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Aha! <laughs> we also read your IOU. Even though you tried to tell us it was a poem, you rustled the hogfish to pay off your debts, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <gasps> what was it that first tipped you off? It was a gum. You had an awfully small supply for a gum salesman. And I got to wondering what had happened to the rest of it. The hogfish were still that was chewing the wrong it voice. when we got here. Yeah, Super Rubber Bubble lasts a oh, long time. Oh, I didn't time. even know that. It's a fabulous product, which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good. And I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching, which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. <laughs> it hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. <gasps> Your very own hat. gallon hat. Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh boy! <laughs> now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. And there we go. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. You get a line, I get a pole, we all go down the crawdad hole, darling. Shake a pop pop, shake a pop pop pop. Oh, give me a. Do you really want to restart the game? Do you really want to quit? Oh! Well. That was probably the wrong button to hit. Um. Well, that was Freddy Fish and the case of the Hogfish Wrestlers of Briny Gulch. Two episodes, two fairly long episodes. Uh, not very good at it. <laughs> a lot of a lot of good memories though from it. Um, I may end up buying more of the Freddy Fish games and playing more of them, but that'll be later. Not right now. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.